You will not believe how much Austin home prices have dropped in just the past three months. Stay tuned for this quick market minute and I'll explain everything that's happening in the Austin real estate market. This is Shannon Manjin with the Manjin team giving you a quick overview of what's happening in the Austin area. So our latest stats for the month of August from Austin Board of Realtors shows that the prices in Austin dipped to 570,000, which is a 13 and a half percent drop from the peak of where they were back in May. Now, if you're a homeowner and you just bought a home here in March and April, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I timed it wrong and I bought at the peak of the market, calm down. The peak is always somewhere off in the future. Real estate is a safe long-term investment. So longer you hold on to your home, the more it's going to appreciate over time. Now, we also have to keep in mind that Austin is a very seasonal market too. So even in 2021, our home values dipped by about 10% from the peak in the late spring, early summer, down to the early fall months. And at the same time, people last year were thinking the same thing, oh my goodness, the market crashed. That wasn't the case. It picked back up again in the next spring cycle. Now this year, interest rates are definitely a wild card, so we don't know where they're going to be in the spring. But if you're a seller and you don't need to sell and you're thinking, I'd rather, rather see what happens, then that's fine. We can help you track your market value over time and see if numbers do and get again increase during the spring months. Um, if you are a buyer and you're thinking you're stressed out by those interest rates, there's also a lot of creative solutions out there. Our lenders have things like 2-1 buy-down programs, which lowers your rate 2% in the first year and then 1% in the second year. So if you were buying with a 7% interest rate, it'll be 5% during that first year and then 6% in the second year. That's helping our buyers save thousands of dollars. And the goal is that if the feds lower rates after we go into a recession, which typically is what happens in the next couple of years, if those rates drop back down, then you could refi and take advantage of the lower rates again. Every situation is super hyper local. Every house, every neighborhood is unique. So if you have specific questions about your property or you want to brainstorm solutions about transitioning to your next home, please give us a call. You can also drop a comment below and we'd love to hear your thoughts on this video.